The Sunday School lesson for November 13th, 2022 is entitled Obedience in Rest, based on Exodus chapter 31, verses 12 through 18. To the viewers and subscribers, welcome to my channel, The Backstory. On this channel, you will become aware of the events that take place before each Sunday school lesson. I will share the backstory, read the lesson text, and offer a brief lesson summary. Please, at this point, will you subscribe, like, and share this video. Thank you so much in advance. The backstory, let's begin. In Exodus chapter 31, the Lord speaks to Moses. Then the Lord said to Moses, See, I have chosen Bezalel, son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, and I have filled him with the Spirit of God, with wisdom, with understanding, with knowledge, and with all kinds of skills. Bezalel's purpose is indicated in Exodus chapter 31, verses 4 through 5. His purpose was to make artistic designs for work in gold, silver, and bronze, to cut and set stones, to work in wood, and to engage in all kinds of crafts. The Lord continues to speak to Moses, and he says, Moreover, I have appointed Oholiab, son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan, to help him. Also, I have given ability to all the skilled workers to make everything I have commanded you. In Exodus chapter 31, verses 7 through 9, the Lord emphasizes his command about the tent of meeting, the Ark of the Covenant law with the atonement cover on it, and all the other furnishings of the tent, the table and its articles, the pure gold lampstand, and all its accessories, the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offering, and all its utensils, the basin with its stand. The Lord continues to emphasize his command by highlighting the high priest's golden garments, which should be woven garments, both the sacred garments for Aaron the priest and the garments for his sons when they serve as priests, and the anointing oil and fragrant incense for the holy place. They are to make them just as the Lord commanded. Obedience in Rest, Exodus chapter 31, verses 12 through 18. Time, 1445 B.C., place, Mount Sinai, golden text. Verily my Sabbaths ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am the Lord that doth sanctify you. Exodus chapter 31, verse 13. Verses 12 through 13. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily my Sabbaths ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am the Lord that doth sanctify you. Verse 14, Ye shall keep the Sabbath therefore, for it is holy unto you. Every one that defileth it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Verse 15. 
Six days may work be done, but in the seventh is the Sabbath of rest, holy to the Lord. Whosoever doeth any work in the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. Verse 16, Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. Verse 17, It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rests and was refreshed. Verse 18, And he gave unto Moses, when he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai, two tables of testimony, tables of stone, written with the finger of God. A very brief summary. Although constructing the tabernacle its furnishings and the priestly garments was sacred work, the workers were not to ignore the holy institution of the Sabbath. Failing to observe the Sabbath would result in death. The 40 days on Mount Sinai had come to an end. The two tables of stone contained the Ten Commandments. Thank you so much for watching and join me soon for the next backstory. Stay safe.